Hi, my name is Abigail Daniela, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to take your church photos. In this video, I'm going to be breaking it down into three sections. The first section will be the lobby, the second will be worship, and the third will be speaker. So something that is very helpful when it comes to lobby photos is knowing your church. So my church service doesn't start until 9.30 and 11.30. And most people don't come in until 9.25 up into 9.35. So before 9.25, I'll walk around the lobby, I'll take pictures of our serve team members, you know, maybe get them posed together, or just observe and start taking photos of the serve team before people actually come in. Because in that 10 minute gap right there between 9.25 and 9.35, I know that there's gonna be a rush of people coming in and I won't really have time to take set up pose shot. When people start coming in, I am not looking for just anyone to take photos of. I'm looking for people who look like they are very, very joyful to be at church. So typically what I'll do is if I know a church member is about to go in for a hug for maybe a serve team member or they're meeting somebody there, I will literally watch people and then that moment where they go in for the hug or right before they smile, before they go in for the hug, I'll start to take pictures so I get the shot. So because people roll in a little bit later, a little bit after our service starts, I typically won't go in until after the first song or sometimes even after the second song. So because people show up a little bit later, the auditorium is not as full as it would typically be towards the fourth song. Our next section is worship. I would say worship is the most important part to capture. When it comes to worship, what I focus on is the congregation and not the stage. It's very natural for you to want to take pictures of the stage because whatever photo you take of the stage is going to look good. But in reality, when you post those photos on social media or wherever you upload your photo, they can't see what the congregation actually looks like if you're only taking pictures of the stage. Though I think it is important to get those shots, your main focus should not be the singers and the band members, but it should actually be the members that attend the church. Rarely do I take pictures of the stage anymore unless something crazy is going on. My main focus is those that are worshiping that are not on the stage. So what I do is that I will literally stand in one spot in the center of the room, right in front of our production booth, and I will stand there for, I'm not even kidding, I will stand there for like a whole song. And the reason I do this is because I'm looking around the room to see what is actually going to look good. Observation is the biggest key when it comes to taking church photos. Things are constantly changing, lights are constantly changing, people's face expressions are always changing. Some people, sometimes people are worshiping, sometimes they're not. So you have to always be on the lookout. Like I said before, the reason I stand and just watch is because I'm trying to see who is worshiping, who isn't worshiping, and where the light is hitting. Our auditorium actually is very big, so the lights don't always hit all the way to the back of the worship center. So I have to be mindful of when the lights do hit certain sections or not. Something else I would be mindful of is the worship song. Depending on if your auditorium is big or not, sometimes the light, once it shines brighter, it covers more of the room, therefore hitting more people. That's why it's very important to observe who's worshiping, who is not worshiping, because if you see someone that's worshiping that isn't very well lit, you can actually time it with the song, whether it's the chorus or the bridge, so that when those lights shine very bright in those big moments, it hits that person and you can actually get the shot that you have been waiting for. <laughs> Once you're more intentional with the shots that you take, I do believe that you will start getting better results. So if this works for you, make a shot list. Maybe you wanna get a photo of somebody on their knees. Wait for that moment. Maybe you wanna get a photo of somebody all the way in the back of the auditorium. Wait for that moment when the song is, is at the bridge and the lights hit all the way back. If you just watch and observe your worship center, you will see shots that you can take rather than just taking photos and taking photos and being so focused on taking as many photos as you can that you actually miss out on certain shots. I will say this multiple times throughout this video. Observe, know your people, 
Continuously observe so that you can get the shots that you're looking for and so that you are intentional about what you are shooting. So the final section is speaker photos. Knowing your speaker is the key part of getting great speaker photos. Some pastors go up on the stage and they don't smile and then they tell their story and now they're smiling or they're cracking a couple jokes halfway through the sermon, now they're smiling. So sometimes you do have to stay in there a little bit longer to get the photos that you need. Something that we do at my church is that we make sure we get five to six solid photos of the speaker. So that means we're staying in there an extra five, an extra 10 minutes to make sure that we get the shots that we need because we use them on multiple platforms. A bonus for you guys is post experience photos. So most people do stick around and talk after service because they tend to be a little bit later before service. So if you didn't get good lobby photos in the beginning, well you can get good lobby photos at the end. So don't put your camera away, don't leave, but stick around for five to 10 minutes to get those lobby photos that you need. Hopefully you got some knowledge out of this video. And if you would like to see some behind the scenes of me in action of how I take church photos, let me know or just leave a like. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.